Hi there, my name is Alex de Micheli. I'm a partner engineer at GitHub, and I'm excited to show you the integration between Atlassian Jira and GitHub Advanced Security. For this demo, I'm going to show you how to set up the integration and how to ingest code scanning, secret scanning, and dependable alerts from GitHub into Jira. I have a test organization with an insecure application, which I'm going to scan with CodeQL. For those who don't know, CodeQL is a static analysis engine developed by GitHub to automate security checks. The first step is to go to the Atlassian Jira application. In the navigation header, click on Apps, Explore More Apps, and then search for GitHub for Jira. The application GitHub for Jira has been around for some time already. It allows you to track branches, PRs, commits, and more. In this tutorial, however, we are going to focus on its new security feature. We are going to click on Get Started, and we are going to hit the button Connect a GitHub Organization. We have the option to connect a GitHub server, but I'm going to choose Connect GitHub Cloud. Follow the steps to connect the organization. To confirm that it's been connected correctly, head over to Configure. As the next step, we are going to create a project. In the navigation header, select projects, then create a project. I'm going to choose backtracking template. Once the project has been created, go back to the project settings and select features. Make sure to activate the security feature. Once the security feature is activated, you should see a new tab security in the site navigation. We're going to connect our repository to the project. Follow the steps to connect security containers. You can add as many as you need. Containers really represent your repositories. When this is done, we're going to create an automation. Click on the little thunder icon. You can create your own automation. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to select the first recommended option. I want to create an issue in Jira when a critical high, medium, or low vulnerability is found. To add more options, I can simply select them from the menu. To finish, we are turning the automation on. Back to GitHub, I'm going to Actions and enable CodeQL workflow. Once the workflow finishes to run, we should see a few vulnerabilities within the security panel. If we go back to Jira, we should see now a list of vulnerabilities that have been imported. You can click on a vulnerability title to get routed to GitHub and see more information about that vulnerability. You can also see additional information about the identifiers, and you can take additional actions on it. In this brief demo, we have seen how to ingest alerts from GitHub to Atlassian Jira, so I wanted to thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you the next time.